So hey everybody, we're kind of doing like a unique tour review video. I've talked about him in podcasts, I've talked shit on him in videos. Uh, it's Bourbon County Courage. Say, Hello everybody, how are you doing? He doesn't know what to do in front of the phone. I mean, you know, it's, it's my first time in front of the camera. I, you know, I did that one podcast. So, uh, welcome. He is going to gonna, uh, he is going to be on a podcast here soon to tell more in depth what's going on. Like that's happening. But um, so this is a combined video, so you're going to have seen like the brewery and the restaurant. So we're in for Forbidden Root in Chicago. Um, he is tell what do you do here? Well, you know we, uh, I've been into beer for a long ass time. So Nate, Joe, and I have kind of created you know great friendship in the way of. Trading, talking about beers, them hating on the fact that I love headroom, uh, and just had a lot of fun. And and I've been a restaurant manager my whole entire life. Never dreamed of the fact that beer and restaurants would cross over, and they did. I mean, this place is a beautiful place. We have an amazing food and just amazing brewer, amazing beer. So I really can't give my opinion later. But we he, are here he now. Can. It's a conflict of interest. Yeah, he can't conflict give us of interest. Um, but we'll allow him to try really hard yeah. and tell me it's the best beer ever. Um, <laughs> but so, in, in all seriousness, you've seen you've seen the video that I've shot here tonight. Um, this is an. I've been to Chicago many times. I have not encountered a food and brewery concept that exists that is even close to this. And it's not because he's a friend of mine. It's legitimately because that's what it is. So we're drinking. Tell me about the beer. Just we're we're drinking Atomic Child. Uh, I don't even know what I'm drinking. Yeah, no idea. I, it's it's the second time we've ever brewed it, um, and, and it's not the brewer. Please get that straight. People keep giving me credit for like <laughs> doing amazing beer, and I'm like, that's not me. Um, it's, it's amazing that in. I love the beer and that I can run a restaurant, but the brewer's unbelievable. So it's with white grape juice, um, <clears throat> and hold on. So we gotta edit. No idea. I'm not editing shit. We like, come on, we this is the this. raw. Hold on, hold on. Raw. So it's white grape juice, and the hops are citron mosaic and orbit. So I do know that. So BJ is our head brewer, BJ Pinchman, unbelievable, and Nick Heard is awesome. Uh, orbit is a New Zealand hop that they absolutely love. Maybe it's Australian. Uh, but either way, we'll figure that Real out. Real close. Same yeah. hemisphere. Or, same know, hemisphere. They it's taste all good. the same, similar. You know. Well, I'm. Let's dive. So uh, let's dive in. Yeah, let's I've, dive in. Because it's hot and I'm thirsty. So, well, you know, it's my, look at this. Like, look at this. This is New England style. Um, he poured it real big. Um, so I don't know. I came down. I was up above. You'll see the footage. It was hot. I'm sweating. The carbonation's kind of gone, but it is. It looks. I mean, it looks the part. It looks like orange juice. I mean, right? It, it does. I mean, straight I, OJ. We we did this in a blind taste test, literally before I had even come close to started working here at all, with all the Chicago and New England style IPAs, and this won 100 percent, like over everything. And I don't want to say who don't it was. Don't say names. Yeah, don't yeah, yeah. say names. I can't. Because now on. I can't. Now I can't. Conflict have any of interest comes. Can't, in. can't have any opinion. Um, here. It looks beautiful. I want to try it. Let's Welcome do it. to the shy, brother. Thanks, buddy. Cheers. So first thing I'll say, mouthfeel, medium, really solid, good carbonation. I mean, the hops are the show here. Mm -hmm. well, so do we know what ABV is on this? 7.2. 7.2. Um, it is not, I say this all the time, like, so with beers like this, the, the, the malts set the table, right? They set this nice table of light, fluffy, like really, everybody says like uh, my. I th actually think I patented this. It's unsalted saltines, like really nice, fluffy maltiness. It's not. It doesn't really overwhelm any part of the beer. It sets mm -hmm. the table for the hops, and then you get this nice pop of just hoppiness. It's it's citrus. I don't. You said mosaic. I don't get a ton of mosaic. I get bright orange tangerine I get I get the wine candy I get I, for sure I get the wine absolutely candied sweetness wine um, it's delicious it's not thin by any means good carbonation um, I have been to Chicago I, him and I talked about this like five hours ago I've been to Chicago probably we haven't been drinking that long no. <laughs> I never do reviews where I'm inebriated in any way, shape, or form. But 
I've been to Chicago probably, let's just say 15 times in my life, and it always blew my mind that there was not a brewery that tried to push. Like, Three Floyds has been the best brewery here. You don't have to agree with this, and I don't want you to. For forever, Dark Lord Day, everything, and I've never come here since I've started coming here where I had a brewery that I wanted to come to that I was like, holy shit, their beer is supposed to be amazing. And there's a couple now. There's a couple. There's at least one or two. There, there are. I mean... It's finally. Fi- finally. Kansas City doesn't have a shit. Like, I'm not surprised Chicago's behind. We don't have a shit. So, um, this beer for me, it... it let, let's, I'm going to dive in again. I've had two sips. I actually drank one before this, so that's kind of a lie. And it was like, delicious. It was delicious. I've actually... Like, the tanks, you saw me. I've been drinking off those. My favorite beer I've had tonight hasn't been released yet, and I can't release details because I've been sworn to secret. I had to sign shit. I didn't, actually. But, um, like... Like, they're doing can releases. They sold out in 45 fucking minutes on Tuesday. That's what we're dealing with here. So, I'm going to dive in one more time. Give me my final thoughts. And then we'll we'll do a final wrap-up. So. so, so it was a ton of fun. We, somebody, I was running a restaurant. And somebody called me and said, hey, would you be interested in running a brewery? And they're like, have you ever heard of Forbidden Root? And I'm like, I was there last night. <laughs> Literally, that's how much I like the brewery. That's a true story. I said to him, I, I was there last night because this was my favorite place to come. Yeah. Make an amazing beer, do an amazing food. Unbelievable dream for me, the fact that I'm a restaurant guy who was able to cross over with a brewery as a you know beer guy like we all are. So that's why we can't comment, can't say we're the best ever because I'm clearly that. biased. He keeps saying that. <laughs> it's weird. It's like we that are, keeps yeah. happening with the channel that nobody still knows yeah. what's going on with me. Um... Wink, Forbidden wink, Root. Wink, wink. But, like, so I'm not even joking. I never I never heard of Forbidden Root. Brian is a friend of mine. I consider him a friend of mine. That's literally when I started hearing about this brewery. And I've had, I don't know, six, seven, eight beers at your guys' Tonight, time? Nine, ten, eleven? Minus, <laughs> minus one beer that tasted like apple shits. I loved it. Completely I loved everyone. Of that. He loved it. I Industry Night. Like the Grony Beer. Unbelievable. Anyways, whatever he wants to say. But... Um, for me, this is straight A, A+. Plus. Like, right... The only thing missing for me on this beer is a little bit of pop of the hoppiness. So, fermentation process, whatever you want to do, it is, it's just missing a bit of, a, a bit of like, what the big boys do. It's real close. It's real close. The mouthfeel is medium. You can amp that up a little bit to get into that A+, plus range. But li- we're nitpicking. Like, I've said this multiple times in my reviews in the last two, three, four, five months. I'm trying to spread it out. Like everybody, like this was released two years ago. This is an A plus, close to 100 beer for me. Like nobody was doing this before, and now a lot of people are doing it. They, they we, are. we talked about this tonight. There is so many. It's coming. It's becoming saturated. Mm-hmm. Like it's like I can't. I can't even rate West Coast IPAs amongst other West Coast IPAs anymore because they're all. There's so many, and this is kind of. It's not even close to the same, but it's kind of becoming like every market except Kansas City until soon um, is becoming the same way and this beer for Chicago I've come I come to Chicago all the time and I go to tap rooms that have amazing barrel aged stouts and have zombie dust gumball head whatever you want to say and those are really good beers and I'm not going to talk down to them but this crushes it so if you're in Chicago and you want amazing food I've had the food tonight if you like veggies, cauliflower, whatever, I, I had this ridiculous deep fried veggie thing. Keep it vegan. Ridiculous. Joe, you could come here and it would be good. Um, she, I, it was amazing. I've had a great night and this beer, this is straight AA plus for me. Um, Crage can't rate it because he's not allowed. No. But hey, everybody's heard me talk about Bourbon County Crage. Cratch, cratch, I don't even know. Crage does beer would be the optimal Crage, thought process, Crage just because beer. I don't Bourbon wanna, County with AB, you know, I don't I, really want that. I don't even want to really want to promote him at any point. <laughs> it's fine. Um, no, it's we, it's all love. Um, we're gonna go there. I'm right. A, this is like a 96, 97 beer for me. If you, it, I'll, I'll be honest. He's sitting right here. He knows the brewer. If you amp up the mouthfeel. And you amp up the uh, aromatics in this beer, which happen in specific parts in the brewing process. You're you're straight 9900. And he'll so, see this. He will. That's fine. It's gonna be like on a projector behind yeah. me. Be weird. 
Um, but we'll go there, guys. Thanks for coming behind the bar. We're on site again. Brewery tour. This is out in front of the bar. Um, I appreciate the likes, subscribes, and comments. Until next time. Cheers. Thanks for coming behind the bar.